Okay, this one's called Dig, Dance, Dive. How Birds Move to Survive. Written by Etta Kanna and illustrated by June Stube. Can see all that? All right, Dig, Dance, Dive. How Birds Move to Survive. Look, we got some penguins. Birds don't just fly. They also move in unusual and surprising ways. They dig, dance, dive, dabble, and much more. Wonder how and why birds make their amazing movements? Read on to find out. Well, let's check it out. Birds walk. A pheasant-tailed jacana can swim, but it prefers to walk on water. Sort of. Actually, it walks on the leaves that float on the water. Its super long toes and claws spread out the bird's weight to keep it from sinking. The toes are also handy for lifting the edges of leaves to look for prey hiding underneath. I didn't know that. Birds toboggan. I think we've seen this before. What does a dell? Adelie penguin do when it wants to move fast. It lies on its belly, pushes with its feet and toboggans. We. Tobogganing uses less energy than walking, but all that sliding can harm a penguin's feathers. So the Adelie penguin makes sure it smooths and oils its feathers with its beak to keep them in tip-top shape. Interesting. Birds can climb. The kakapo can't fly, but it is a good climber. It clambers up trees to find food and escape danger. See that hooked beak? The kakapo uses it along with its strong feet to hold onto branches as it climbs. How does it get back down? It parachutes by spreading its short wings. I wish I had short wings to parachute. Birds run. The greater roadrunner may be small, but it can run faster than you. When hunting, it zips along on its strong legs, using its long straight tail for balance. Catching tasty meals of insects, lizards, mice, and even snakes is a snap for this speedy bird. Birds dig. Imagine digging a giant hole with your feet. That's the first thing a male male fowl does when it builds a nest. Male fowl. The hole is as deep as the height of your kitchen counter. Then the hole is filled with a huge pile of leaves and sand in which the female lays her eggs. As the leaves rot, the pile heats up. Perfect for keeping their eggs warm. That's pretty cool. So they use like um, what we do in the garden. Birds dabble. You know where the compost and we put all the leaves in and then they start to decompose? My love ducks dabble to find food. They tip head down and tail up in shallow water. Gulp. Water along the floating plants, worms or insects enter their mouths. Their bills then act like a strainer and tiny comb-like teeth along the edges allow water to be pushed out while food stays in. one. Birds dance. Before a male super bird, superb bird of paradise dances to impress a female, it changes its look. It pushes the feathers on its back of its neck forward to create an oval and it lifts its beak to show off bright blue feathers on its chest and head. Then it's time to dance. The male bounces back and forth with its colourful front facing the female. Wouldn't you be impressed? Well, it looks like a big mouth to me with eyes. Oh, this looks cool. Bird stalk. The black egret is one sneaky bird. As it steps through shallow water stalking fish, it tucks down its head and makes an umbrella shape with its wings. This creates a shady spot where fish like to gather. That's clever. Little do they know that the shade is really a trick the egret uses to catch lunch. Bird 
Let's twist. How far can you twist your neck? Like many owls, a long-eared owl can turn its neck nearly 270 degrees in either direction. That's almost all the way around. Why does it do that? To see better. An owl can't move its eyeballs because they're not round like yours. They are tube shaped, so instead of moving its eyes, the long-eared owl twists its neck. Okay. Birds dive. A blue-footed booby dives from great heights to catch fish. Its streamlined body enters the water at about 60 miles per hour. 100 kilometers per hour. That's as fast as a car on the highway. How does it do that without getting hurt? It has special air sacs in its head to cushion and protect its brain. That is clever. Mother Nature is clever. Ooh, birds spin. How fast can you spin? A fallow rope spins in lake waters up to 60 times in one minute. It does this to catch food. As it turns, it creates a whirlpool. The whirlpool sucks up tiny animals from the muddy bottom to the surface. The fallow rope then dips its long bill into the water and snatches its prey. Spin, dip, spin, dip. Yum. Birds jump. Male widow birds have a jumping contest to attract a mate. But first, each male grows super long, shiny tail feathers. Then he cuts down grasses to make a round jumping stage. Finally, it's showtime. All the males jump way up over and over again to show off their long tails above the tall grass. Each female picks the male she thinks looks best. Birds piggyback. I like this one. People aren't the only ones who give piggyback rides. Eared grip chicks do too. As soon as the chicks hatch, their mum and dad leave the nest with their young. They take turns carrying the chicks on their backs and hunting for food. This is a great way for the grip chicks to stay safe from predators and to keep warm under their parents' feathers. These birds also climb dig, walk, run, dance, stalk and dive. The climber is the hoots and chick has claws on the ends of its wings to help it hold onto the branches as it climbs a tree. The rainbow bee eater uses its sharp bill to dig a long underground tunnel for its home. As it digs, it pushes the dirt out with its feet. Walk. A dipper walks on stream bottoms to hunt for its meals. Special eyelids act like water goggles to protect its eyes and help it see clearly underwater. Run. An ostrich has long legs and can run twice as fast as the fastest human. Dance. Red crowned cranes leap into the air and flap their wings when dancing with their mates. Stalk. The American bittern stalks fish and frogs by hiding among tall reeds that look like the stripes on its body. Dive. The common loon's solid heavy bones help it dive deeply to catch fish. Alright, the end. Dig, dance and dive. That was a good one.